Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to present to you the annual report of Cathedral Pre-University College 2013-2014 in your August presence. The report captures some of the best moments of our college activities as we move ahead to another milestone of the year. Things would have not been possible without the support of the college coordinators, Mr. Anil Kumar, Mr. Ravindranath, Mrs. Geeta Rajiv, and Mrs. Sunita Daniel. And of course, the committed service of the staff members. The academic year started in the month of June, seeking God's blessing to take this institution forward in faith. The year started with the chapel service at the All Saints Church. It was time to welcome the new students and orient them to the ethos of the institution. The parents accompanied the new students. The principal addressed the gathering and shared the need for the parent-teacher coordination and cooperation to achieve the goal to mold well-rounded global citizens. College Day College Day was celebrated with great enthusiasm at the Cathedral campus. The program commenced with a word of prayer by Rev. Victor Thomas, Honorable Minister Mr. Dinesh Gundurao, the chief guest, inspired the students with his brilliant message. He emphasized on the importance of nation building and encouraged the students to take serious note of their social responsibilities. The cathedral website, cathedralbla.com, designed exclusively for the college by Mr. Christian Devanesan, lecturer of biology, and Mr. Saifullah Tarak, lecturer in electronics, was launched on the same day. It was a moment of pride for the newly elected council as they were administered the oath of office and for the achievers who walked away with prizes. Interpersed with cultural events including a beautiful Thai dance and a splendid Spanish dance ended the program. Cultural program. The interclass cultural festival gave the students opportunity to display their talents and win prizes too. The students were in high spirits and various competitions were held to challenge their young minds. The performing arts and music teams were indeed impressive. The second PCMC class bagged the overall cultural championship trophy. The winners represented our college at several fests organized by our colleges in the city and did extremely well. They even bagged the overall science championship at the Garden City College. Sports An occasion to showcase various sporting skills. Our annual athletic meet was an intensive competitive event. The Chief Guest, Honorable Justice Anand Bhaira Reddy, Karnataka High Court, took the salute from all the classes as they walked past in their vibrant class colors. The Guest of Honor was Mr. Jude Felix, former captain of the Indian national hockey team, and it was truly a mega event. The oath-taking ceremony was followed by the lighting of the torch by Supreet and Junita and the meet was declared open. Upholding the spirit of true sportsmanship, the day was filled with exciting victories. The crowning moment was Ravi Ranjan and Rachel being declared the college champions and the first CEBA class being awarded the overall championship trophy. The prize distribution marked the culmination 
of a memorable day. The Department of Sports, led by Mr. Pradeep Kumar, held interclass tournament in football and cricket. Our teams also took part in numerous intercollegiate tournaments in the city. Teachers Day celebration. Teachers Day was celebrated with great vigor by the students. A day to unwind and de-stress for the teachers. The students entertain the faculty with varied cultural events, eager to show their love and respect for the teachers. The members of the college faculty even participated in multiple sporting events, much to the delight of the students. The combined Teachers Day celebration was held at Bishop Cotton Boys School for all the CSI institution under the Karnataka Central Diocese. The teachers celebrated with a display of cultural entertainment and rededicated themselves to education with a greater sense of purpose. Club activities. The Kannada Sangha commemorated its 8th anniversary in the college campus. Renowned Kannada activist Sri Ranam Chandrasekhar was the chief guest. Special invitees included Sri C.R. Satya, renowned scientist and social worker. C.R. Satya enthralled the students with his speech and jokes. A shadow show and a talking monkey were admired by staff and students alike. The Kannada magazine, Kannada Sob Rama, was released on the occasion. The French department took some of the students to the International Institute of Hotel Management where the students took part in Young Chefs of India and had hands-on experience in international cuisine. The Green Club, headed by Mrs. Meena Kumari and Mrs. Aarti Hanna, with the support of the college gardeners, continue to preserve our green environment and maintain our lovely and lush green garden. Our college was awarded the V.S. Srinivasa Shetty Rolling Shield for Best Ornamental Garden and the Rolling Trophy for the Best Garden. Our students participated in various competitions arranged by the Mysore Horticultural Society at Lal Bagh. Reshma R and Sneha R won first and second prizes respectively for the flower arrangement competition. Environmental week was observed by making charts and models on care of feathered birds, alcohol and drug awareness, wealth from waste, Vanamaha Utsava saw students plant silver oak saplings in the campus. Our gardeners truly deserve an applause for enhancing the beauty of our campus with their persistent effort. The physics department attended a workshop, 100 years of Bohr's atomic model at Christ College. The NCC, under the leadership of First Officer Ravindranath and First Officer Shobha Francis had regular parades throughout the year. Our cadets also participated in training camps and parades. They make every occasion at cathedrals very special. Each time they escort the dignitaries to the venue. The senior division and senior wing cadets of our college represented the 9th Karnataka Battalion of the NCC. Our students participated in the Model United Nations competitions organized by Christ Junior College and Bishop Cotton School. Meghna Mohanty, Junita and Muhammad Shahab represented our college. They participated in the United Nations General Assembly Committee, International Labour Organization, Food and Agricultural Organization and World Health Organization. 
Our students also took part in the inter-school model United Nations competition conducted by Cathedral High School and Pre-University College. 32 schools and colleges across Bangalore participated in the event. The Cathedral team included Joel Rajkumar, Hadrian, Monica Sharon and Junita. They were involved in the committee of UNHRC and won appreciation for their quality debate. Staff Achievements Mrs. Uma Devi, lecturer in Canada, was confirmed the doctorate degree for her thesis by the Bangalore University. It deals with rural, folk and tribal proverbs. Perseverance and determination is an admirable quality in her. Mrs. Emilia Therese, lecturer in Tamil, was selected by the pre-university board as a member of the textbook committee. This committee was responsible for producing the textbook for the second PUC 2014 New Syllabus Tamil Language Annual Graduation Day The annual graduation and valedictory function marked the end of 12 wonderful years at cathedrals. The ceremony commenced with a word of prayer by Rev. Victor Thomas, Presbyter in Charge, All Saints Church, followed by an invocation dance and the lighting of the lamp by the invited dignitaries. The chief guest, Dr. G. S. Babu, Director, Billa Institute of Fundamental Research, encouraged the students to move forward in faith and determination. He quoted from our president, Mr. Abdul Kalam's book, Wings of Fire, and implored the students to dream and achieve their dreams. Right Reverend Dr. John Stephen Sadananda, the chairman of the board of management, invoked God's blessings on the outgoing students with a special prayer. Under the starlit sky, boys in splendid formal attire, girls in their fabulous green saris took the pledge in solemnity. As the candlelit procession marched out of the turf, it was the end of another period in their lives and beginning of a new one. Christmas at Cathedral, a night to remember, a night of thanksgiving as you get transported into a magical world with the campus lit up with the myriad little bulbs the evening commenced with a word of prayer by Reverend Victor Thomas followed by a warm welcome to our chief guest Mr. Gunter Lofla Deputy Council General of Germany by our principal the Cathedral Choir directed by Mr. Sam Samson and supported by the music department brought joy and peace of God to all. As their voices soared, so did the hearts of 200 teachers and their families. The St. Joseph's College Choir and the Laudant Choir rendered joyful carols that warmed the hearts of the audience. The children enthralled the audience with the nativity play, the lowly birth and the supremacy of Jesus never ceases to amaze mankind. The grand finale to this wonderful night was a Christmas dinner on our very own Pettigrew turf. Just as Cathedral High School and Pre-University College has grown in quality, in academics and in numbers, we needed more classrooms to meet the demands. With the initiative and support of our Board of Management, the three classrooms were built at the PU department and dedicated by the moderator, Right Reverend Bishop Devashirvadan. 
Our sincere thanks to our Chairman, Bishop J.S. Sadananda, Chairman, Board of Management, the Vice Chairman, Mr. Chandra Hassan, the Treasurer, Mr. Jay Chandran, our Presbyter in charge, Reverend Victor Thomas, and all the members of the Board of Management, you, the staff members, the students, and the parents for helping this institution towards good governance and imparting education to our students. Thank you very much.